Y'all, listen, it seems like Kurt Frost done got caught with his hand yet in the cookie jar yet again. Now, on this particular episode, Jasmine brought the receipts. The receipts were definitely receipting. And not only did Jasmine bring the receipts, she gave those receipts to Rashida, where Rashida can read her man allegedly telling Jasmine that he'll give her a little bit more cash or just a little bit of ass. Yeah. Y'all, so let's jump on into this video, honey, because the receipts are receipting. And guys, before we get into this video, you guys know the drill. I do need you guys to make sure you are liking the video please make sure to share the video. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure you guys enable your bell notification so you do not miss out on a video. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Huh? So if you guys watched the previous episode, you know that Jasmine was invited to an event in which she was sharing the text messages in which Kurt had propositioned her. Now, Rashida wasn't hearing it. As y'all know, Rashida going to take Kurt's side no matter what, right? So as they were pulling up to meet Jasmine, Rashida referred to Jasmine as Miss Thotty, and they were going to meet with Jasmine because she felt like Jasmine should tell her whatever it was to her face. And oh, Jasmine did. But let's just get into how this all went down. Like you tried to lie on me and say that I answered the door in my birthday suit. Well, whatever you said, whatever you said was completely false. So I was like, if you're going to lie on me, then I'm going to tell the truth on you. And I never wanted to take it here. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until you said that. That's what triggered me. I was like, OK, let's go there then. Rashida is mad at the wrong person. The reason why we haven't been able to have a conversation is because you've held me accountable and not him. So I'm confused. Like, what are you, what are you so confused about? Oh, OK. Right? So she said telling the truth on you. So what, which, what's, what's the truth? I, I, what, what would be your truth? Because my truth is I don't know what you're talking about. Of course so you don't. whatever your truth would be, what is it? Like, of course you don't. Because you, you, why would you tell that truth? So the truth is that you have been trying to smash. So I heard, and that's been not the case, so. You're a liar, the truth ain't in you. I have the proof. She says she got the proof. Hopefully, at the end of this conversation, she has a little bit more clarity, and maybe one day she'll be able to realize that I'm not the problem. Now, guys, it's important to point out that during um, the meeting, of course, um, Jasmine spoke in her confessional, but she said she didn't understand why Rashida was even coming to meet her. Um, and her exact words were that Kirk could perform an orgy in front of Rashida and she wouldn't leave him, which is very interesting because this is what the fans are saying. The fans are saying no matter what he does, she won't leave. And I think that's a pretty bad place for anybody to be in that the person that they're married to or even their significant other feels as if it is nothing that they can do to this person that will make them leave. Some of the fans even said that Kurt want to get rid of Rashida and he's doing all of these things with hopes that she will leave. But I'm just like, hey, I don't know. But it's crazy that the baby mama side chick, whatever you guys want to call Jasmine, feels like it does not matter what Kirk does to Rashida because she ain't going to never leave. It's also important to note that Kurt's new name should be the um, 
the deflector or what should we even call Kirk? Because he arrives to the meeting as if he does not know what Jasmine is talking about. And then he says, well, you're the one with the bright old text messages and he's just deflecting and detouring. And I'm just like, Kirk, didn't you send the damn text messages? And then he wants to get clarity on what's going on. Kirk, I believe you have a head clarity of what's going on because you were notified that Jasmine was exposing you. So the fact that you come here acting dumb is a clear indication, man, that you sent those text messages. Then he starts to blame Jasmine and says Jasmine is getting exactly what she wants because she gets to speak to Rashida and mess up his marriage. And I'm just like, you know what? Rashida and Kurt need to stay together forever. For one, he can never do anything that would make her leave him, separate from him. But he doesn't take responsibility and says Jasmine is trying to break up his marriage as if she kidnapped him, put him in a bed with her, made him get her pregnant and produced a child. Jasmine also explains why she decided to come out and tell everything because she felt as if Kurt was lying on her, making it seem as if she wanted him by saying she's coming to the door, not just dress when it was a lie allegedly jasmine is saying kurt is lying and that has never happened she has never came to the door not dressed all while jasmine is explaining this rashida looks like she's gonna fall out and faint I mean, I guess she's angry, but I'm like, girl, why even show up if you're not open to receive the information? Because Rashida didn't want to hear nothing that Jasmine had to say. I'm not really sure why she showed up. It's like Kurt is never, and that's never, ever, 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 he's never played his part or took the responsibility of what he did. I mean, listen, you sent the girl the text messages, just own it, stop acting like a child. So to sum it up, Jasmine tells Kurt, listen, you have been trying to smash. And as you guys saw, Kurt had that huge smirk on his face. And I'm just like Rashida girl, he played with you all day seven days a week, 24 hours a day, because he think you a whole joke. He smirked. He didn't pretend mad. He didn't fake mad. He laughed in your face. So Rashida goes on to say, you know, so Rashida has saw the messages already. Now she looked at Kurt's phone and somehow he doesn't have them because he deleted them, deleted the messages. So I'm just like, at this point, Rashida is definitely deflecting. Her husband does not take resp responsibility and neither does she. So I just feel like these two are the, they, they going to be together because Kurt can do whatever ever. And I mean, whatever he wants to do. I mean, whenever a man can go out and get a whole nother woman pregnant, he can do whatever he wanted. So guys, in closing, what is going to happen with Rashida and Kurt? Absolutely nothing. Kurt is going to continue to do what he's been doing. And our nice old good gal Rashida is going to let him. So you guys make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not. And please make sure you enable your bell notifications so you do not miss out on a video.